Yo, what's happening? What's happening? Knowledge here. Knowledge here. And uh, welcome back to Beacon Vision. I wanted to share something with y'all tonight. Just got off work. It's late. I'm a little tired. I had to put my Cali shades and come down here. I got my got my T on, my tight T. And uh, just took off my dress shirt and still got my church pants on. You feel me? Uh, just, just a little tired. It's late. Work late. But I um, wanted to share something with y'all. And uh, today's topic, you know what I mean, I really didn't even expect to come down here, but I said, let me strike while the iron is hot, you know, while the, while the um, mental juices are flowing. And uh, I wanted to talk about how things are relative to each other, you know, and what are uh, similarities and things that we don't usually look at and intertwine and connect together. I was thinking because, you know me, I'm a music man and I love music and I try to connect the dots on any and everything that I can just to see the similarities and the dissimilarities, just to find out where I like to see uh, in, a lot of, in a lot of places where a relationship is to be formed, you got to have similarities. And that's how relationships are formed, uh, on similarities. Uh, people usually don't form relationships uh, that's based on the dissimilarities, feel me? So, today is the record. How was this record? This is vinyl 1960, oops, 73 record, relative to you, relative to me. We can get real deep on it, but it's late, and I don't really want to get to the metaphysical, to the metaphysical biometrics of it, you know what I mean? Because if I got there, I could say, you know, you break down the elements and you we all made of the same things and and if you look up under them up under a microscope you see things that we, we you know I ain't trying to about to get that deep but how is this relative to you okay think about this in this way a record this is all your life is it's a record And on this record, you have. Let me see here. It's almost, and it's funny how and it's funny how a record is made. If y'all look at it too, just if you got a record at home, put one out, and just see how the rings are on it. Like um, it's like how you open, you cut open a tree, and you look at the rings, and that's how you can tell the age of the tree by the rings, right? But if you look at a record, you can see how many songs on it, depending on, you know, the uh, the the deep thick lines of it so I say this one got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten songs on this record so you know how is this relative to you well it's just like this your life has is a, is, is a walking is a walking record and when your life is over this is all you have. It's your record. It's, it's what you did. And if people take a, a, want to take a walk down memory, memory lane and just say, hey, let's talk about X, Y, and Z. Talk about Johnny. Let's talk about Sue, Dave, or Rob, or, or Mike. You know what I'm saying? They start to replay your record. The good and the bad. You know what I'm saying? But now... Since you're still living, you don't have, your record is not complete. And that's where we talk about samples. Because, you know, I'm a sample lover. I love samples. And if anybody out there don't know what samples is, it's just a snippet of a record and you make your own. You know what I'm saying? You can make your own beat created or your own instrumental created out of a sample. And while we're living, you know what I mean? That's what we're doing. We're still giving people samples of us. So take for instance this record, right? Now look at this. I don't want to turn my back to you too much, you know what I'm saying? But let me pull up something real quick. And this is a sample. This is a random sample. I ain't, I ain't really trying to do no beats right now, not like that. So I'm about to get in the bed in a minute. But think about it. This is what your life is like. Right now, 
It's a It's a sample. It's a sample. Well, it's a sample of your record right now. And are you looping your sample or are you chopping it up and making it crazy? Are you living your life on the edge? Are you living your life uh spontaneous and vicariously and 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 enthusiastically doing what you feel like you want to do or are you just being a loop are you just being a loop like for instance this is a loop right here I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit and are you looping are you looping or are you chopping Are you looping or are you chopping? See, this is a loop. And sometimes a loop can feel so good. Let's listen to it. Now that's a loop. That ain't nothing but that's a record that's sampled, chopped, and looped over and over again. Is your life like that? Because a loop sometimes can be real good. A loop of your record can be real good. If you take the, say, say, say you are on song four of your life, right? And song four might be the hit, might be the, the million dollar showstopper. But if you cut it and loop it, and keep your life on the best song. Keep your life on the on on the break beat. Keep your life on the on the on on the on the hard bass line. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how it's relative to us. Any and everything is relative. You can look at anything and find a relative point. You can look at anything and you can see the potential for greatness. In you, in your record. Now, though that your life is not over yet, because if it was, you wouldn't be watching this. But start putting some thought onto what your record's gonna sound like. And in your record, do you have a lot of bad songs or do you have any good songs at all? And if you had to sample your record, what sample would you take? What sample would you take and play it over and over and over again and loop it? Or what sample of your record would you take and chop it up so nobody even recognizes it no more that's, that that's you? That's deep. That's a thought. And I'm happy that I came down here with y'all today. I know I'm probably a little bit off the wall here and there on this subject. Just because it's late, I'm tired, should be in the bed a little bit, something on my heart to share to you. And like I say, we rising and we growing together. Each one teach one. And that's what I'm that's what it's all about. So the thought of the day or the night and for you know now on, I'm gonna really start thinking relative points, you know what I'm saying? My life so far. So I'm gonna turn around and try to get serious. Tight space. My life so far, my record so far is not complete. But what part of my life do I see is the good point? The, what part of my life do I see as the loop point? What part of my life is the point where I felt like I was, I was, you know, I was grooving. The bass line was, was, was bopping, the, the drum beat was popping and the, the, the melody was sweet and then if I can recreate that and take it even better what sample of my life will I take not living in the past because you gotta continue to evolve your sound also you also gotta like with music you gotta evolve your sound and make it better and make it sweeter and make it even colder you know what I'm saying for the next one but so far out of your life, 
What sample will you take from your record? Hey, yo, this is not a sign it back out. Just give me what you every chance that I get. Every time that I have breath. You know what I mean? I'm going uh, to be kicking it some way. If it ain't over these uh, internet wires, it's going to be face to face with somebody. But, uh, you know, that's what we all here for. So, on that note, I'm about to say good night. Forgive me if I was here, there, and everywhere. But are you going to chop it? Or you gonna loop it? And what part of uh, your record do you want people to listen to? Third day, six feet deep, MacBook Music, Beacon Vision. It's like that, and it's the way it is. Peace.